reggae and the one who invented that word. So just want you to know and my reggae fans to know and all the world to know that R-E-G-G-A-E reggae I'm the inventor for the word reggae. I'm the one who coined the word reggae. Hope you know. Yeah, number one. Yeah. Rastafari. Well, I tour more now since I'm getting older. Uh, I tour more now. Uh, it's more professional work I have to do. So I have to keep on touring. Yeah. And I have got time to rest. When I'm not touring, I have to be in the studio working on some album. I produce other people and myself. So I work in, in the studio doing some kind of music either for myself or for other people. What was touring like right when you were making a name for yourself, when you were a young guy, but no one had heard your name? What was it like then? Well, I never used to tour like then. No. As I start my music career, people began to hear about me because I have 31 number one record in Jamaica, included a two-side hit single um, in Jamaica, which no other artist in Jamaica never done. I'm the only one who did two songs and put them on one vinyl, and the two songs become number one. One of the songs called It's You, and the other one called Daddy. So um, it's in what that was in the seventies. Yeah, making music. Uh, my career start um, nineteen sixty four. So um, from then I've been doing it. I've been getting popular, 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 popular until now. And when I do my songs, people always want more. Yeah, I have an album called True Love, which uh, I did collaboration with Bonnie Raitt, um, Willie Nelson, Boosty Collins, Ben Harper, a lot of great artists. I, I can't remember them now. Yeah, too many to but remember. Every one of them sing one of my songs. So it was a duet album, and it became number one, number one for Grammy, number one on the radio station, and the album called True Love. So if you don't get it yet, you, you can look look in the, the go line and you'll, you'll find it. It's very great. And my daughter that sings tonight, do back up for me. She have a new brand album. It just released. Her name is Leva Ebert, and um, we keep on doing it. I wear my glasses because I'm very tired. I don't sleep for weeks, man. They so say for months, two centimeters don't rest. My my drummer is just like me. His name is Paul. My bass player is just like me. His name is. It's Double J, Jackie Jackson. My rhythm guitar is just like me. His name is Dukes. My lead guitar is just like me. We don't sleep. His name is Carl Antonio. My keyboard player, his name is King Charles. He's just like me. We don't sleep. When we get the bus, we just rest. My daughter, Libra, and my friend, Granny Granny, we don't, I, they are very younger than me, but I groom them into this atmosphere. So, and you know, we are the, we are the only uh, uh, band and group 
from Jamaica uh, that sustain the original uh, members in my band. All the same? All the yeah, people. from way back. Maybe we lose one or two persons, but it's from, it's, it's from so long that we get back people to, to, to fit in uh-huh. in my band. You know, and you should know that I'm the one who coined the word reggae. I'm the inventor for the word reggae. The reggae mean? that people play today, I'm the one who said, let's do the reggae, come do the reggae, R-E-G-G-A-E, reggae. In those days, reggae spelled R-E-G-G-A-Y. <laughs> didn't know what to do. But the, the, the reggae was in Jamaica playing. Nobody didn't know what to call it. Some people call it blue beat. Some people call it boogie beat. And one day, me and my two friends, they used to sing together. One day right now, when one is living in New York, um, Jerry Matthias is living in New York. Raleigh Gordon he died. So we three sat down together, have my guitar, and um, this word just comes up. Reggae. Because in Jamaica in those days, in the 70s, people, uh, if the girl not looking so good, we call her Strege. That means she's looking raggedy. She want to either, you know, put on some good clothes or something like that. And if we're not looking good, the girl would, the girl would call real guy Strege. I, I, I believe um, Strege, um, we just, I just put that word from Strege to Reggae. It was a slip, I didn't plan it. So um, people want to know that I'm the one who coined the word reggae, two centimeters. But two centimeters is my name. But all who be on stage with me share the name with me. So that's what I am. Yeah, it's a family. Now see, a lot of people that I talk to that do know your music, they like the song 5446, that's my number. But yeah. They don't know what it means. No, it, it means nothing great because when I won this festival in Jamaica with Bam Bam, um, I, I rise up fast. Those days was like a politics. If you like an artist, you cheers and you bring all your friends then to come to cheer for him. And um, if you don't like the other artists, you boo, boo, boo him down and show, yeah, yeah. You know, so those days was like a politics. When I won this festival in Jamaica, um, Chris Buckle came to Jamaica and gave me the first contract to go to um, the UK on a tour. So there were, there were some people, three people, that grudged me, bad mind against me, and tried to frame me with ganja. I never smoked yet. <laughs> never smoked yet. I was young guys. And so after when I win the festival in Jamaica with Bam Bam, they and Chris Blackwell gave me the contract. Somebody tried to frame me. They didn't find me with any weed. Uh, they take me to a place called Richmond. Um, take, they didn't want me to go and do that contract with Chris Blackwell. So they do that to end me from doing my first UK tour and, and use the other band. They, they managed some other band, some other group. I won't call any name now. But they do it and they, they have to send that group in my name to in space of me. And I never get in the bail. They didn't find no weed. They just hold me there. Hold me. No give me no bail. No nothing at all. Cause in those days if you if you do anything that's bad you get bail. If you charge a murder, you get bail. Who need to get bail? Anything you do, you get bail. But they didn't those days was raw politics. So I was coming up too fast for them in their sight because all people would have singing long before me. I just come up with my revival ska music with, with, with Scatterlight. Once I would be, oh, you and the uh, 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 pressure going to drop uh, everything. Uh, some wicked songs, man. Wicked songs. And they begrudge me 
So they framed me and never up. The police told me that these three people give them 30 pounds to hold me back, to hold me there until certain time. So I, I went up to this dormitory place called Richmond in the country. That's where they took me. And I get my own meals from the yard. I wear my own clothes. I didn't do no prison. I don't go to no prison. Uh, they put me to a place like Damachi, soldier. Soldier camp to hold me there. And um, till the time go for 12 months. So I get my, my family come bring my meal from my home, my clothes. Then they bring my guitar. So I just write songs. I didn't do anything. You know, I didn't do anything to be there. So they try to keep me down. But when I come out, I write this song, 5446. I used to ride bike. It's not my bike number. I didn't have no prison number. I didn't write it. If I have a number, I didn't write it off it. I just create the number and become number one again. As I come out, number one again. So they cannot keep up. So when are you going to stop? And that make me feel real good. And I, that make me, that make, make I don't want to stop. So I don't know when I'm going to stop. I just want to, you know, do what I have to do. People depend on me. So I, I make no plan to stop. If I'm sick, then I'll stop. But once I'm going strong, <laughs> yeah, energy, you yeah. Yeah, hello reggae fans, this is Toots from Toots on the Maytals saying tune in to Da Cool TV, your number one station that rule the nation. Give it up, no time. Uh.